YouTube, Modern Railroader fans, I'm Ray, and I believe this is vlog 15. I've lost track, and unfortunately I don't have a computer down here because, well, actually, it's sitting here. And, no, this isn't the one that blew up on me. That's actually a smaller one. This one here is ridiculous. This one's no good either. Um, get that out of the way. <laughs> <sighs> been a while, it's been over a month. Um, listen, not a whole lot going on down here. Um, caught the caught the live show the other night. You know what? Actually, we're going to put that over here. Oh, sorry. Caught the live show the other night. Walt was on. Walt World. And I'm sure you all are familiar with him. I'll go ahead and put a link in the, in the description once I get done. Um, but... I, I want to consider the man a buddy. Um, he actually came over here a couple years ago uh, after one of the Timonium train shows that we had, and uh, we hung out for about a half an hour, 45 minutes or so, um, and then he moved. <laughs> he used to live here in Maryland, and now he's out in, out in Denver, Colorado, and I think I may have mentioned this already, but come to find out, him and a guy that I actually have worked with in the past um, that does a lot of our uh, high-level uh, troubleshooting um, actually lives out in Denver as well. Actually, apparently Walt lives on the south side of Denver and my buddy Doug lives on the north side of Denver. So, obviously I've been trying to, they, they've I've, I've actually been, I think, chatting back and forth a little bit, so who knows, maybe one of these days we'll see Doug on, on YouTube. Uh, he does have a YouTube channel and I think I'll put that one down here as well. Again, if I'm backtracking good point. If I'm backtracking on something that I've already done, forgive me, it's been a long month. Um, I kind of posted something up on uh, on Facebook earlier, uh, actually yesterday, uh, because of the fact that I didn't want people to get the wrong ideas to what the heck's been going on. Having some family issues after my father-in-law passed, and we're dealing with that, and it's stressing my wife out, which in turn has been stressing me out. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I haven't been down here. Uh, not to mention the fact that like a, I am also mentioned on there, my daughter just graduated high school. She's going to start uh, college this fall down at St. Mary's. And that's been what's been going on. And in the process, my video editing computer, my little my little laptop took a dump on me. The uh, fan that keeps everything cold inside decided it was going to stop working, and the thing overheats and shuts itself down after about two and a half minutes. Uh, thankfully, I think I may have a solution to that problem. Uh, I've been working on my daughter's old laptop, and uh, I think I may have actually gotten that one to a point where I can actually utilize it. So, either one or two things are going to happen. Even Either this vlog is going to show up, in raw form as it's being recorded now, or it's actually going to show up with all the bits and pieces that I had from when it was on the other video editing computer. We'll see what happens. Keep our fingers crossed. Um, got an email notification from Big Bill this afternoon. Um, they'd like to they'd like me to be on the July show, July 15th. Um, I told him yes, I will. I will definitely do that. So I will be on YouTube Model Builders Live. Uh, for July, so mark your calendars and watch out for the goofiness, because I'm sure there's going to be plenty of it. Um, not sure exactly what I'm going to have or what I'm going to be doing at the time, but we'll figure something out. Um, one of the things that's going to be kind of interesting for me, at least, is the fact that I'm going to be coming back from St. Mary's uh, earlier that day. So, hmm, <laughs> I might be a little out of it, but we'll see what happens. Um, I know that Sparky107107 107 has a contest going on right now, so does Walt. Check them out. Um, sounds like there's going to be some cool stuff coming down the pipe from those two. Um, of course, on my wonderful mess of a bench, I've still got all the things that I've been wanting to get around to that I still haven't touched. Um, so that's kind of where I sit at the moment, besides sitting in the chair right here at the bench. Um, there is one thing I did want to... I'm going to go ahead and I, pardon shaking the camera, but, and I know I'm, you're looking at my ugly mug, but I did want to show you one thing. Um, <laughs> let me see if I can get the thing to actually, oh, there we go. 
baby. Hey. Um, yeah, as you can see, there's a, um, I don't know how well that's actually showing up. There's actually a table down here. Um, pardon me. One of the reasons why there's a table down here is because I was, at one point in time, I guess it was about <sighs> a month or two ago, <clears throat> um, I was playing around with some ideas just to expand what I've got uh, to put in a storage yard. And unfortunately, I had no way of holding the tracks up while I was playing around with the arrangement. So I figured, well, I'll bring, I, we bought these wonderful eight foot tables folding tables. Let me see if I can brace one of them up down here and see if I can go ahead and lay the truck across it. Well, <laughs> it's about, uh, about <laughs> the height's about uh, eight inches too short. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, so that idea kind of didn't work out the way it was supposed to. Um, but it is what it is. If I get down here to play with it, I will, and I'll try and get it jacked up to where it's the same height as the the layout and then we'll go from there and see if I can play around with this track idea that I had and see how feasible it's going to be although considering the fact that with the table sitting up down here I've already realized I've lost an awful lot of real estate on the floor so that may not work um, speaking of track plans I'm still messing around with track plans um, I've got one that I kind of liked um, the only issue was is the way that the uh, the hidden yard was set up. I wasn't real happy with it, and I actually saw um, a uh, or I've actually got a DVD about the Boston and Maine, and I forgot who um, the owner of that layout is, but he's got two hidden yards, and they've both got return loops on them. Now, granted, he's only using single track main, um, but I was looking at that going, you know what, I like that idea, maybe I could incorporate that down here, and, well, I'm, that's basically what's turning out to be the start of Plan 42. <laughs> um, but, I, I've, I've got an idea in my head, I, I, I've got something that I think may end up working out a little bit better than some of the other things, if not, then... I think, ultimately, I, I think what I'm going to end up having to do, and it may be a backwards way of doing it, although I've, I've heard of some folks doing it this way before, I may end up just going ahead and taking this thing down, taking all the track off of it, and then manipulating the tables, and then laying the track back on top of it just to get a feel as to where everything is going to lay out, instead of drawing it on paper, you know, give myself my aisle space and so on and so forth, so that way I know what I've got to work with, and and kind of manipulate it that way. It, it, it sounds a little far-fetched, it sounds a little off the wall, but then again, so am I. Um, but, you know, I, 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 I like what I've got over here, you know, this 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 loop-to-loop -loop as it is, but operational-wise, it, it's, it's just not what I wanted, and it's time for it to, it's time for it to vamoose, and big word of the day, big bill, um, and, and start with something new that's a little bit more prototypical, um, I just don't know how I'm going to get there, and I know people have said, hey, talk to Bill Baronic, and so on and so forth, well, nothing against Bill, uh, Baronic, or Miles Hale, or any of the other folks that, that have done track plans in the past, or do track designing, that's great, um, I'm just one of these people that I guess I like to do it on my own. I, I, I want to fiddle and fumble and, and mess with it and and come up with something that's that's truly me. Um, you know, taking in ideas and so on and so forth that everybody has given me. Yeah, that's great. I've got no problem with that whatsoever. But, <clears throat> you know, just getting down here and turning this thing from a a loop to loop into something that's a little bit more prototypical is is what I want to do. But you know, like I said before in one of my other vlogs, you know, my parameters are a little a little stringent. You know, I want I want at least a two track main, at least if not three. I want continuous run, which is kind of hard to do when you're also wanting to do point to point. Um, but I think it's doable. I think I've got the space to do it. I just have to figure out how to make it fit and make it work in the space that I've got. And that's that's the biggest problem. So 
Anyway, um, I'm not going to run this thing too long because, I, number one, I'm not sure if the, if the computer upstairs is even going to work, number one. Uh, number two, I just don't have a whole lot to talk about. <laughs> so, you all know the deal. You wait for the highball, green tracks ahead. You know what, though? Say a prayer for Sparky's mom. Uh, I know she's uh, she's been she's been sick and uh, he, he needs all the prayers he can get. So pray for Sparky 107 107's mom. Send him prayers her way and his way. Keep him in your keep his family in his in your in your thoughts and prayers. And you all know the deal. Wait for the highball. Green tracks ahead. God bless. We'll see you next time. See ya.